Hey guys, this is Ivan with Overlook DNT, and in today's video, we're working on a simple minecart stopover. Bam. Alright, so what's a stopover? Basically, it's kind of a point A to point B, and then possibly a point C kind of thing. It's super simple to do. Um, it's if you have, you know, if you don't need a huge kind of a uh, rail system. Basically, again, let's say this is your house. Let's say this is, um, I don't know, the end, and then this is kind of some mine quarry that you've got going on over here. Let's set this up here so we can go back. All right, uh, so basically, <clears throat> you have your minecart, let me quit flying, and you're like, hey, I'm home, I'm gonna go to the end. This is the end, and I'm gonna get off here. There we go, so we're here. Let's say you're like, okay, well now I wanna go home. You hit the button and you're back home, right? So let's say, okay, you know, I wanna go, uh, to the quarry but of course uh, this is probably the quickest way then you stop at the end you push yourself onto the quarry track and then you put your uh, push yourself out and about and then you're like hey I'm done mining I'm back all right so basically that is it that is it now the one thing about this setup here is that this is a east-west dependent okay uh, and by that I mean that uh, if you try to put the tracks like so on a um, you know north-south because that's north behind me south uh, and I'm trying to put these to stack next to each other like so uh, that becomes an issue then you know it has to be on an east-west orientation where these tracks uh, won't try to connect um, so yeah let, let's build it basically uh, it's extremely simple we're gonna go, uh, go ahead and put some sticky pistons like so uh, sticky piston like so and actually out out, out one and then now uh, we're gonna put our, our lapis blocks it doesn't have to be lapis guys it's just what I'm using on top of the pistons is where your buttons are gonna go that's it that's it and slap buttons everywhere all right so this is gonna be our like stop point right here so this is gonna go uh, this way this is gonna come out uh, like so and uh, let's put the normal track to get the curve going like so all right so let's give us a little bit more space Track, power track like so button and uh, now we need to power this up let's get a redstone torch uh, yeah, yeah. that's powered this one's powered uh, let's just give us some more space let's get, oh and I got rid of that track come on no and I got a ladder what all right, let's replace that. Let's do it slowly, so I don't hurt myself. All right, like that, and like that. So again, that's 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 uh, that's it. That's it. Look, we're here. If we want to go back, we push ourselves back. Okay. We want to go forward? We go that way. If we want to go to the other track, we do that, and then we push ourselves into it. And that's it. We can go out this way, we can hit that button, get pushed onto this track, and then push ourselves back. So, uh, that is it. That is it. You know one thing that I didn't realize, and this actually happened before the update, did you realize that now you're able to actually kind of gain momentum, so you don't really get caught in like, you know, a dead track? If you're in it and you push forward, you actually move. It's crazy. It's freaking crazy. So as always, hope you guys like the video, subscribe up top, and peace. Uh -oh. Peace out.